Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I want you to picture this. You're in a desert and you're walking and you're walking and you're walking and you're so thirsty, but you're not as thirsty for water as you are for mysteries, for answers to your questions. And then you find a rabbi, a teacher, and this teacher not only answers all the mystery questions you have, but tells you things you've never even pondered of the invisible world. I have such a rabbi here, such a teacher here. Anyone interested in having your mysteries answered? My guest seems like such an unassuming, nice, quiet guy, but he's causing an international stir. Who would have ever thought? Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, my friend from New York. Who would have ever thought you'd cause such a stir? Mm. <laughs> what can I do, Sid? I, you know, <clears throat> the Lord called. We've known each other for like 30 years, but the Lord just did it. You know, it's all the Lord. Wow, <laughs> so I God love that. It. I love it. But, Good. Jonathan, give me a, a kind of a, an, an update on the harbinger. Everyone was looking yeah. for, yeah. for a disaster yeah. to happen on a yeah. specific uh -huh. day. Mm -hmm. The, the template of the harbinger has continued. America has not, as a culture, turned back to God. Remember what happened to ancient Israel. They were warned and they moved, they continue to move away. Well, we've been accelerating as a nation, as a culture. It's been following that template. In fact, there are things I won't go into that are in the harbinger years ago that are coming true in this election, but I will not go through that. But we'll say a, f a few things. Um, one of the things is that, for instance, the Shemitah, one of the things that it absolutely happened, what happened is the Shemitah of 2015 was the worst year in the stock market since the Shemitah of 2008 and 2008, the worst year hmm. in seven years. It was the it caused the markets to crash all over. And actually in the month of Elul, it caused a global collapse, still here now, it, oil to collapse, commodities Everyone collapse. was looking in the U.S., but this was a all over. The world. China collapsed, stock market collapsed, all over. And, and actually it was the worst year to make money in 78 years since the Great Depression. And not only that, it was 20% of the greatest day crashes in history happened during the Shemitah and during the month of Elul. And not only that, I mean, there's so much, but not that, but the, the actual, the American age that began in 1871 when America became the strongest economic power on earth, the Shemitah of 2015 ended the American age. America was dethroned. It is no longer the strongest economic power. It is now China. So there was much, much, much that didn't happen. God didn't have to do anything, but it happened. I want you to set the scene for the mystery, yes. the desert, the yes. teacher, explain. The mysteries, which we're going to get into, yeah. The mysteries, yeah, it begins with a, a, a man traveling in the desert. He meets a man called the teacher, and the teacher takes him on a one-year odyssey around mountaintops, caves, secret chambers, you know, um, all sort of d desert dwellers, and every day he opens a mystery, uh, some of the greatest mysteries of God. He opens up the, a mystery for every day. So, so it's an odyssey, and yet the one who sees this is really taken on that odyssey, and Every day, there are, you know, if the harbinger was a mystery, the, the mystery, this is hundreds of mysteries. And really, the, really I would say, the, really, the, the, the greatest mysteries of the ages of God, you know, of prophecy, of, of But, of but you heaven. know what I like about these mysteries? We're coming into such tough times That's it. That's in it. the world. What if these mysteries could unlock 
peace in you, could unlock joy in you, could unlock purpose and destiny in you. You, uh, you, you know, you start out with the mystery of the jar. <clears throat> yeah, this, that. this is really the this is really an, an opening. It's to open because this is for believers, unbelievers. It doesn't matter. It's an opening. That is this: the the teacher comes to the disciple and and say, and carry a jar and says, pose the questions. Is it possible for something that is small to contain something that is large? And the he says, no, it's not possible. Yeah. And he says, yes, it is. If the vessel is open, it can contain everything. It's unlimited. This jar can contain a river. If it, you put it in the river, it can flow right through it. How can you ta- contain God? God? The Bible says, Paul says, I pray that you, you would have the fullness of God. How can you be filled up with the fullness of God? An open vessel, an open life, an open mind, an open heart will be filled by God continuously. It, there's no limitations on that life. There's no end to the revelations of God. There's no end to the awesomeness of God. We just have to not get tired. We have to keep seeking Him and we'll find. When you understand these mysteries, you will walk in joy. You will walk in peace. You will walk in blessing. I, I, tell me, these ancient yeah. rabbis were much smarter than our modern rabbis. What yeah. did they figure out about the Messiah? <clears throat> well, in the mysteries, the teacher takes the disciple into a room with old books, takes out the old books, the Talmud of the Bible, I mean, mm-hmm. of, of, the, of the rabbis, hidden in their writings, in the book of, called Yoma, in that, mm-hmm. The rabbis recorded that all of a sudden strange signs and what supernatural things started happening in the temple of Jerusalem. And particularly, they said the doors of the temple opened by themselves. They would close it, they'd open by themselves. It says they rebuked the doors, but they opened by themselves. Like, like the You're way- You're saying the doors and- uh, the, the golden what, doors. What year did this happen? Well, here's the thing. They, they give the year and they, they say it happened 40 year, about 40 years before the destruction of the temple. 70 AD, the temple was destroyed, minus 40 equals just about 30 AD. AD, the time of Messiah on the cross. And so when Messiah's on the cross, the rabbis are recording that all these supernatural cosmic changes took place in the temple. Hmm. I mean, and in fact, in one of the books called Sanhedrin of all things, they actually put, they give the timing when Messiah had to come by and it comes out to thir- about 30 AD. It's all, this is in the rabbinic writings. There is nothing like this in history. It's actually proving Messiah beyond anything. How can we have all those coincidences and call them yeah, coincidences? Yeah. They were proving Jesus yeah. is the Messiah. Yeah. God led the, God caused it to happen. Hmm. You know, one of my producers said that her favorite mystery is the mystery of the bride and the groom. Oh, okay. That, I yeah. mean, you could talk on yeah. that for the next 10 hours. Yeah. But. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, one of the most beautiful mysteries, and it's the mystery of the Bible, the mystery of life. It's the mystery of each of us. And it's this, in a nutshell. The ancient Hebrew marriage holds, the, holds this cosmic revelation. How did it begin? Well, in order for there to be a marriage, the bridegroom always had to make a, a journey from his house to the house of the bride. Always. Then in the house of the bride, he would have to pledge himself. He'd have to give a costly treasure to set her free from her house. And then once they would, they would seal a covenant, drink wine together, cup. Then he would go back to his house and he would prepare a home for her. They'd be separated. She'd prepare herself for him. She'd prepare, he'd prepare a home for her. And then the great wedding day would come many, maybe a year later. Great procession. The, the, the bridegroom dressed as a bra, as a king uh, with, with his men with torches at night coming to the bride. The bride dressed as a queen. He'd come for her. They'd, she'd take off her veil. They'd see each other face to face. He would then, t- they'd be carried away in a great procession from her house to the house of the bridegroom where they would celebrate for seven days. What's the mystery? That's the biggest nutshell I could do. What's the mystery here? God is the bridegroom. We are the bride or everybody watching was born to be the bride. But in order for the mystery to happen, the bridegroom must make the journey. So 2000 years ago, the bridegroom of our souls journeyed from his house, heaven, to our house, earth. He journeyed to our house. He comes to us no matter where we are, not just earth, no matter where we are. He's the the God who comes to us. He comes to our door. We have to let him in. And then what did he have to do? In the house of the bride, the bridegroom had to to produce a price, a, a gift, a costly treasure to set. Well, he did. It wasn't, it wasn't silver or gold. The, the price was him, his life. That is the bridal gift to set us free. And then they shared a cup. He shared a cup with us. Then, he's, then the bridegroom has to return to his father's house. What do he say? I have to go to my father's house. I will prepare 
prepare a place for you in my Father's house or many mansions. I will come again. And so now is the great separation. We are the bride. He's, he's there. We're here. But we are, he, we are to prepare our place, our, to take the time we have now to prepare ourselves for the marriage. We're to become more beautiful. We get ready for our eternal home. And then one day comes the second visitation when he will come for us, whether we are alive on that day or whether the end of our life, we're going to have the, he's going to come one more time for the bride and he will come. We will see him then face to face. We will be lifted away with him, the bride and groom carried on a procession. The old house disappears, the old creation, and we will enter the house of the bridegroom that we have only dreamed about. We've only believed in. We'll see it then. And for the first time in our lives, we will be home. With all of his knowledge, with all of his wisdom, I want to find out the mysteries of the end times when we come back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Call right now to get Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive offer, which includes his brand new book, The Book of Mysteries. Plus, receive his five-part audio CD set, The Album of Mysteries, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9439. As you open up the Book of Mysteries, you will be transported on a journey through a desert to encounter a man known only as the Teacher, who will take you on an odyssey to mountaintops, caverns, encampments of tent dwellers, and oil-lit chambers of scrolls, ancient books, and mysterious vessels to open the mysteries of the age and your life. Each day, you will get a powerful divine revelation, a special mission that takes the revelation and applies it to your life, scripture references that help you meditate on and apply each of the 365 daily nuggets of life-changing revelation and activate them in your life. Sid Roth says, most of us only get one nugget while hearing an entire sermon on a Sunday morning, but Jonathan Kahn in his book gives you 365 one-page nuggets of revelation, one for each day of the year. Now you can begin this journey for yourself. Plus, when you call, you will also receive his exclusive five-part audio CD set, The Album of Mysteries. It is not available anywhere else. Sid asked Jonathan to expand the teaching on the most life-changing nuggets of revelation contained in his book. In this five-part audio CD teaching, The Album of Mysteries, some of these one-page nuggets from the book had to be expanded to reveal the richness of the teaching and the powerful transformation it will bring to your life. Some of the things he covers in this five-part audio CD series are the mystery of the priesthood, the transference of the anointing and priesthood to Jesus, and now to you. Find out the importance of tapping into Jesus as your high priest, an advocate who makes the way for your every prayer to be heard and answered by your heavenly Father. Revelation of the face of God, which is now accessible, and as you seek His face, you will receive blessings, provision, love, kindness, unlimited mercy, and compassion. Jonathan opened up revelations from the ancient biblical Hebrew wedding, the secret title of God, Becoming One with God. Jonathan reveals key mysteries on how to know, find, and fulfill the supernatural pattern, calling, purpose, vision, and destiny of your life. Don't miss out on getting Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive offer, which includes his brand new book, The Book of Mysteries. Plus, receive his five-part audio CD set, The Album of Mysteries, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9439. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9439 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say there's so much to say about the end times hidden in the ancient Hebrew yeah. and the biblical feast, but tell me the mysteries of the end okay, times. Okay, I'll touch on a few. There's a lot of them, but I I'll know. touch on just a few. Okay, one is, you know, we know in the end times there'll be a great falling away, and we know that. But the word in Greek is apostasia. Mm -hmm. But the, now, now it, it means you know falling away from the faith. But it doesn't just mean that. What people don't realize is the other meaning, which holds a whole mystery. The other meaning of apostasia is not just falling away from faith, but to fall away from the state of being. Now, let me tell you what that means here. 
If we, in other words, if a civilization falls away from faith in God, it falls away from the state of being, meaning man falls away from the state of manhood. Woman falls away from the state of womanhood. Family falls away from the, the state of family. Marriage falls away from the state of marriage. Uh, life, so we are, wit what we are witnessing is how the mystery is going to, we, we, there's no accident that we are witnessing this all around. It's part of the mystery of the end times. But at the same time, I'll, I'll say so. there's something in the, in the mysteries called the chiasma. I won't go into it except to say this. That is God will, the way he will finish the age is the way he began the age. What was in the beginning shall be at the end. That's the way God does it. And so you have Israel in the world to the beginning, you have Israel in the world again. You got Jerusalem, you have Jerusalem back. You have Jewish believers at the beginning, first you have Jewish believers again. What it's saying, you have persecution at the beginning, you will have persecution again, but you have the book of Acts at the beginning, you will have the book of Acts at the end. And so, and so, and so. So you're saying to me, let me see yeah. if I'm hearing you right. Mm -hmm. You're saying when you see uh, men being called women, when you see the institution of marriage destroyed, yes. when you see all of these mm. apostasy, yes. uh, the, yes. the, 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 these things yes. happening, there will be a great move of the Spirit of God equivalent to the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at the book of Acts. Is that what I'm hearing you say? <laughs> that is what you're hearing, Sid. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> and, 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 I mean, <laughs> Tell me about the mystery mm. of the triangle. Okay, God is so awesome. How can you be so <laughs> filled with so many <laughs> mysteries? That's what no. I want to know. Look, I'm a Jew, and the Gentile believer is to provoke the Jew to jealousy, but this <laughs> Jewish believer is provoking me to jealousy. Wait a minute. I don't, I don't think that's biblical, Sid. I don't think that's biblical. I don't think that's biblical. So God chooses the least likely. So here's the thing. When Think about... Think about yeah, I volunteer. <laughs> least likely. <laughs> think about the redemption. Think, first of all, Passover, Passover. God brings redemption. How? He has them put the blood of the lamb on the beams of their doorposts. We know that. Where does he put them? On the top, on the side, on the other side. What does it form? It's, it's blood on the be blood of the lamb on beams. Put it together, it forms a triangle pointing up from man to from, from man to God. A triangle. But here's God is so awesome. Over a thousand years later, God answers on the same day, Passover, on beams of wood, he puts the blood of the lamb. Where? One here, one here, one here, a triangle from God to man. But here's the other thing, but God is so cosmic. What happens when you put it together, it forms a cosmic star of David? Wow. <laughs> Over the ages, thousands of years, only God could do that. Tell me the, the mysteries to change our lives. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> but the teacher in the mysteries takes the disciple to a mountain and says, you've got to get to the top of the mountain. You've got to get to, there's something on the top waiting. But he doesn't know which path to go on. And so when we're saying in our life, how do we know God's will for my life? I go, right, right, left, left. So, so he, he takes one, he tries it, but he fails. He ends up at the bottom of the mountain. The, the teacher says this, here's the answer. We're all heading to Jerusalem, a new Jerusalem. In order to go to Jerusalem, you had to make Aliyah. You have to go up to Jerusalem always. You can't go down, you have to go up. Every born again believer is a spiritual Israelite. So that means we have to make a spiritual Aliyah. That means our life has to be an Aliyah. We're heading. So what it means is this, every time, every day, you're gonna have a choice every day to go with the spirit or go with the flesh, you're to go upward or go downward. Go, go with love, go with, go with selfishness, go with the sin or reject the sin, every day. Every day, choose the higher step. Every day, choose the higher step. And even if you don't know which path to go on, you're going to get to the mountaintop. You're going to get to your destiny. You're going to intersect with the destiny of God, no matter what. And you're going to get to the exact spot in the center, exactly what God's will is. So you don't always have to know exactly how or what or which thing. If you always go upward, you will be guaranteed to find your destiny on top of the mountain. Tell me the mystery of the appointments of our days. <clears throat> well, you, we all know, we've re read the scripture, and this is this, another thing where, you, where it's the deep thing. In the, in the English, it says, teach us to number our days. We all know that, and, that's, and it means that, but it means more than that. In Hebrew, the word is monat. It doesn't just mean teach us to number our days. It also means teach us to appoint our days to ordain our days. You know, in, in the book, of, in the book of, of, of Jonah, you see it says God appointed a fish, he appointed a worm, he appointed, well, we are to appoint our days that are yet to come. We can ordain our days. And it's like your days are, you're not supposed to have your days come and whatever hits me, hits me and that's it. You are to 
ordain, appoint, anoint your future, your day, the days of your life for victory, for God, for glory, for growing, for breakthrough. You have to appoint them. Teach us to appoint our days before they happen. I want you to tell me my favorite mystery, and that is the mystery of cosmic love. Okay. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. You know, what is love? You know, love is when you join yourself to another, you, you put yourself in the place of another. You put yourself in their heart, in their shoes, and you put yourself in their place. The Bible says God is love. So if God is love, what is going to be the greatest manifestation of love we could ever see or ever exist? That God himself would put himself in our place, in our shoes, in our cross, in our judgment. God would come down to us. What is love is you join yourself and become so one that you can't be separated. That is the mystery of really of everything. And the word, you know, we talked about the mystery of the bride and groom. What is the word, you know, in Hebrew, the word for a groom is chatan. What is chatan? God is the chatan. What does chatan mean? Chatan means the one who joins himself to you. <laughs> so what is it? You know, we think, oh God, you know, God, hear me, hear me, hear me. God is the, we're not the ones who came up with being saved. God wants to be one with us more than we do. God is the one who wants to join every part of him to every part of us. That's why he joined himself to our sins. There's no part of us that God will not join himself to. So the thing is to, the thing is to take every part of our life and let God become one with it, come down. He's the chatan, we're the bride. And you know, by the way, you know what the word bride means in Hebrew? Kala, it means the perfect one. Why? Not because, because what bride doesn't look perfect in the eyes of the bridegroom? <laughs> so, right. God, so, so where he, God's, God's saying, open up your heart, open up your life. Did not, don't hold anything from me. I'm the chatan. I'm your bridegroom. I, I will become one with everything. You'll never be alone. Jonathan, would you, people have written in thousands of prayer requests mm. for us to pray, mm. and they are believing God. Yes. I believe that as you blow the shofar, you will cause the satanic spirits of infirmity and financial problems and marital problems and fear to scatter. Then I want you to pray the ironic benediction, mm -hmm. the same one that Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, prayed mm -hmm. over the Jewish people. And what does it say in the Torah God would do if he would pray this special prayer? He says, name upon them and bless them, bless them. Blow the shofar and then okay. the ironic blessing. Now the blessing in the language of the Bible, God says, I will place my name upon you for all his children. Imagine if you discovered a treasure chest in which were hidden ancient mysteries, revelations from heaven, secrets of the ages, the answers to man's most enduring age-old questions, and the hidden keys that can transform your life to joy, success, and blessing. Jonathan Kahn has been given new heavenly keys, which will take you on a year-long journey of a day-by-day -day discovery of things few people have ever heard, the most important keys of spiritual truth, end-time revelation, and the secrets of overcoming, things that will help you experience the reality of God in your life every day. Call right now to get Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive offer, which includes his brand new book, The Book of Mysteries. Plus, receive his five-part audio CD set, The Album of Mysteries, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9439. As you open up the Book of Mysteries, you will be transported on a journey through a desert to encounter a man known only as the Teacher, who will take you on an odyssey to mountaintops, caverns, encampments of tent dwellers, and oil-lit chambers of scrolls, ancient books, and mysterious vessels to open the mysteries of the age and your life. 
Each day, you will get a powerful divine revelation, a special mission that takes the revelation and applies it to your life, scripture references that help you meditate on and apply each of the 365 daily nuggets of life-changing revelation and activate them in your life, and so much more. Governor Mike Huckabee says, I was absolutely stunned. Pat Robertson said, the book is extraordinary. Sid Roth says, most of us only get one nugget while hearing an entire sermon on a Sunday morning. But Jonathan Kahn in his book gives you 365 one-page nuggets of revelation, one for each day of the year. Now you can begin this journey for yourself. Uncover the mysteries of God, the secrets of the ages, and the hidden keys to open the doors of a life of joy, victory, and success. Plus, when you call, you will also receive his exclusive five-part audio CD set, The Album of Mysteries. It is not available anywhere else. Sid asked Jonathan to expand the teaching on the most life-changing nuggets of revelation contained in his book. In this five-part audio CD teaching, The Album of Mysteries, some of these one page nuggets from the book had to be expanded to reveal the richness of the teaching and the powerful transformation it will bring to your life. Some of the themes he covers in this five-part audio CD series are the mystery of the priesthood, the transference of the anointing and priesthood to Jesus, and now to you. Find out the importance of tapping into Jesus as your high priest, an advocate who makes the way for your every prayer to be heard and answered by your heavenly Father. Revelation of the face of God, which is now accessible and as you seek His face, you will receive blessings, provision, love, kindness, unlimited mercy, and compassion. Jonathan opens up revelations from the ancient biblical Hebrew wedding, the secret title of God, becoming one with God. Revealed are the supernatural events and encounters that totally transformed Jonathan's life and brought him to his appointed destiny. Jonathan reveals key mysteries on how to know, find, and fulfill the supernatural pattern, calling, purpose, vision, and and destiny of your life. Don't miss out on getting Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive offer, which includes his brand new book, The Book of Mysteries. Plus, receive his five-part audio CD set, The Album of Mysteries, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9439. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9439 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. What you do with this little temporary thing called life now determines how you spend eternity. There is something that is a mystery that should not be a mystery. It's called Academy Rewards, not Awards, Academy Rewards Night, or the Believer's Judgment, imperative you understand it, and you are about to know the truth. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.